Oh. We're back with something spooky! With our last subscriber Sunday. I know you guys didn't like Laurent, but it was funny! Can't <laughs> deny it was funny! I guess you guys don't like it. You don't like you don't like Laurent mystery and you guys don't like chills. <laughs> wow. Wait, someone commented that it was a, a comedy. I, but I couldn't tell, like, are you just, are you making fun of the channel itself? Or is it actually supposed to be like a parody ghost yeah. account? Let us know, yeah, because, know. I mean, there's no translation, so we don't really get the context of anything. We're just going with what we see. And it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Man, that guy was like roundhousing. Like... I know. <laughs> You guys have to see it. it. Like, if you haven't seen our Sunday video yet, you have to check it out. Yeah. Especially that floating part at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Anyways, we're back with another spooky video. This one is by Kate Frostbear. It's called "Mysterious Videos Too Scary for a Late Night." So grab your popcorn, get comfy, and enjoy the show. Hello guys, time for more mysterious videos. I hope you are ready for some entertainment. Now let's get ready, buckle up and stay frosty. Oh gosh, that's gonna be scary. Yep. I have a feeling. It's always the dancing videos. I know. Earlier this week, we have taken a look at the haunting which takes place in the apartment of Remy Coat. Poltergeist activity as well as an eerie apparition can be captured almost on a daily basis at this point. It's like going she back has and forth. asked for help on Reddit, but to this day, nobody was really able to help her. Last night, she has placed two camcorders to capture the latest happenings, and this is what was recorded. Listen closely. Huh? That's some loud thumping. For some reason, the ornaments which are mounted to the ceiling seem to be moved, just like the plant underneath. And then watch between the clock on the wall and the picture. It seems to be getting darker there for some reason. It is? And where do these noises come from? Does? Yeah, I can't I... tell. Nothing. Are those voices? Creepy for sure, but what really took the cake is the following capture that Raimi could come up with. Oh, oh, heck no! She states, the shadow person was in my bedroom, next to the door where I captured the video. Could it be the same ghost figure she had caught on video earlier? What do you think? Guys, let us know, do you guys sleep with the door open or closed? I always wonder. Because, so... Close it, lock it. That way you don't see this thing. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, here we go guys. The following clip was sent to me by Ayumi and she told me that she had it in her collection for quite some time. It was recorded by two friends in a high school. They were part of a dance class and were practicing some moves after Aww. regular hours in their classroom. Nothing really weird popped up at the time. And they didn't think that anything scary unfolded that afternoon. That is, however, after rewatching their dance rehearsal at home, they had to change their minds, as you will see for yourself in a minute. Is it outside? You think? I don't know. Outside the window? Oh. Uh -uh. That's... Oh. The two girls swore that nobody else was with them in the classroom. Can we believe that? The potato uh. camera says otherwise. It's like over. A friend, perhaps, no. or something otherworldly. A creepy encounter for sure. We've heard of that. 
The following capture was shared by user Rugby562, and it was quite the interesting one. He states that his mother went to the infamous Sorrel Wheat House in Savannah, Georgia. It was built in 1835 and nowadays acts as a historic museum, which offers ghost tours to people who are interested in the paranormal. Rugby's mother took a couple of images of an empty and darkened room in there, and on one of them disappeared. Oh, what? Is that a face? Yeah. It's People like a... say it looks eerily similar to a face. Maybe a being from a long forgotten time period. It's like a doll or something. Apparently this face was only seen on the following image. And it would almost appear as if the head was moving, hence the motion blur. But it's... It looks like the saw doll, right? Oh yeah, jigsaw doll. Yeah, I think Or to say what exactly we are looking at here. A paranormal capture or something more explainable. What do you say? Paranormal. It's a ghost. Gold. It's been a long time since we have taken a look at the paranormal investigations of fellow investigator Phil Koch. Many years ago, he was sharing some of the best footage on his very own YouTube I channel. That one. Tonight, we want to take a look oh, yeah. at some of his most entertaining captures. In the following recording, he was investigating a supposedly haunted attic with a friend. Yeah, yeah really this. A kid uh, ran out. About an hour since we those footsteps. I would have ran out too. Uh, What's our average temperature? It's so about 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Like it's going to 45. There's 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got a reading here. Oh! Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Got a reading here. Oh! Okay. <laughs> he just... ow, ow. Interestingly enough, nothing besides a garbage bag was placed on the chair that moved on its own. Yet, it looks almost as if there was something sitting on it. Maybe just ah. paranoia. On another night, Phil went to one of the most haunted locations he had ever explored, the Alchemist Theater. Oh, he I went for a too. quick preliminary investigation on his own first, before deciding if he and his team should devote a whole night to this place. Apparently, there were countless reports from actors who had seen creepy-looking shadow people in the catacombs of this old theater. In this hallway, when they come down here, they hear footsteps, they hear people talking, but... Uh, this hallway is supposedly haunted. I don't know. That's, um... Oh! Jeez! Always gets me! So what? creepy. Okay. Okay, okay. Shh, shh. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's a theater. That's I'm sorry. Scary. That's so scary. That scary. Look at this. Okay, everybody, look at this. <laughs> right, I'm looking for a doorway to the upstairs with this little thingy. There's a doorway. Here's a way out. Jeez! Jeez! I'm out of here. I, I don't know where I am. But before gathering his team, he decided to give the showroom another here. look. And something really odd unfolded set there. Up in this corner here. And uh, I'm just gonna sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound, but I'm just gonna sit and uh, listen. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Move behind me. Jeez. What do we still post videos like this? I know. Did a paranormal entity just play some tricks on him? If that was the case, it certainly wasn't finished with him that night. We got lights on in here. Uh, we got lights on. We're in the basement of the Alchemist, and uh, it's about 1 a.m. And uh, I'm shooting the first round through this hallway here. 
uh, behind the door. I think he's walking around, but that's probably tenants upstairs. But there are people so, still? Like, it sounds building? like they're upstairs, but there might be people up there. Oh. Hello? Anybody in here? Well, besides the people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again. And then we'll take a look. Like, yep, I'm still Come on. here. See if this prop is still back here again. And then we'll take a look. Come on. <laughs> Apparently, something pulled open the doors. <laughs> the door opened? Yeah. No. Door yeah. Open. That door was closing. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm going to kick your ass. Looks like okay, that one a monster from that guy's convenience uh, store. Oh yeah. But the pin the guy who had the haunted pinata. Ooh. That face Hello. is creepy. Yeah. Phil then makes it into this room and something slams the door behind him. Hello? Hey. Habits, this old theater clearly wanted Phil out of there. Maybe we take a look at the follow up visit another time. Oh, there is a What do you think happened here? Was it all just a hoax or a real haunting? Oh. I was really freaked out. Now let's take a look at Abdullah Al Anbari and let's see if he ventured to any haunted locations lately. And what do you know? He also traveled to a new deserted house to investigate for anything paranormal. This house in particular also seemed to inherit a lot of poltergeist activity on first glance. <laughs> يا أحد لو سمحت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله This guy runs towards it. The other guy ran away. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> the activity then seemed to have calmed down at first, at least for the moment. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة مشير ما خلق was something making it into this room? What was that? Whatever wanted to get Abdullah's attention, now lured him into one specific room, it appears. What, does the trap him in there? Oh, I hope not. Is it a mirror? Oh, gosh. Is it? Please don't say you're going to be a mirror shot. <laughs> Those are always the worst. Fihad? Bismillah. Do you think he sees something? I don't know. Get out of there! Ooh. 
was that? I thought, <gasps> oh. At first, I thought it was just this light. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Oh. Does this face belong to an animal or something that we can't fathom? Maybe just a friend of his. What's your opinion? I don't think so. I wouldn't want to be friends with that. Which one was the scariest for you? Probably the dancing one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that thing, thing looked like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Wait, which one was the series for you guys? Let us know. And if you like this video, please give us a like as well as subscribe to us and hit that notification bell. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Our handle's just that fun for AJ. We post updates as well as what's to come next. So see you guys later. See ya!